Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. We're going to review one today you don't see every day, and that is a Fred, or we call it Freddy. Today, we're going to review a 2008 Tiffin Allegro. This is a 32 BA model number, so this is a very small diesel, length diesel, compared to most, only 32 feet, 10 inches long. So if you're wanting a small diesel with multiple slides, you're gonna like this one, especially for the price and the miles. Now guys, why they call it Fred, see, uh, let me back up a little bit. Tiffin makes two different kinds. They make a RED and a FRED chassis. RED means rear engine diesels. Guys, this has a front engine diesel, FRED, Fred. 18,000 miles. Very nice motor home, it's got two slides under 33 feet long, but now it is a front engine diesel, so it's gonna be a little bit louder than a rear engine diesel. But really guys, driving it inside, it's no louder than a front engine gas motor home. And you got the durability, the dependability, and the higher torque rating of a diesel. Got the Cummins ISB 300, Horsepower, 660 pound-feet of torque diesel in the front. Allison transmission, Freightliner chassis. Another thing, guys, front engine diesel is a lot cheaper than a rear engine diesel to build. This is an 08 for 59.9. If it was a rear engine Allegro diesel, it'd be another 15 to 20 thousand dollars easy. So you are saving money, and be honest with you, guys. I've driven a bunch of these before. They drive great, and they actually get quieter as you go down the road when you're driving, so. Kind of the opposite of a gas motor. Has 50 amp electrical service, does have a diesel generator, a 6KW Onan diesel generator that runs great. 500 hours on it. It has a fiberglass roof. Double slides, both with awning toppers. Got a patio awning. Atwood leveling jacks. You know, these Tiffins guys, they have almost a cult like following. Very high quality. And you don't see near as many of these on the market as you do, say, a Monaco Holiday Rambler, Fleetwood, and other ones like that. And uh, that's because they limit themselves to six motor homes per day just so they can control the quality. Got a driver's side door. That water coming down is condensation. I've got both ACs on. It's 95 degree heat index right now. Motor cranks and runs great. We just drove it 600 miles in. Paint finish looks great. No delamination. Let's look inside. Now guys, there have been a couple of modifications on the inside from the previous owner and I'll show them to you. They're not a deal breaker by no means, but I just want to make you be aware of them. Whew. And it's amazing how cool this thing is. This thing's got some Arctic air conditioning in this thing. Um, of course, you know, it's a, it's a Tiffin, so they're better insulated. So once you get them cool, they stay colder. I mean, we're 70... And just a little bit I've had the air on, guys. We're, what, 74? And it's 95 plus outside. Plus, keep in mind, we're in a parking lot with no shade and the sun beating down on us. So, the fact that in just an hour, hour and a half, it's that much colder, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Front cab area, guys, you got comfortable flex steel captain's chairs. Um, Backup camera, looks like they put a newer one in instead of the older ones. I don't know if the monitor went bad on the old one or what. Uh, 18,000 miles, no check engine lights, no warning lights. Generator fires right up. I've got it hooked into shore power, so I didn't crank it up, but I do, I promise you guys it fires right up. Um, air conditioners are ice cold, because I wouldn't be in here today if it wasn't. <laughs> Believe me. Allison automatic transmission. Um, man, this is smooth. Good looking motorhome, guys. And, you know, I don't get to do many of these short diesels like this. I mean, most of your diesels you look at, 36, 38, 40 foot plus. 
uh, TV up top, got the six foot 10 uh, ceiling height. Couple of modifications. This chair looks like it's not factory. That's been put in. It probably had a little barrel chair when it was new. Um, countertops look good. Three burner stove top. They obviously didn't cook in here. Microwave convection oven. It does have a sleeper sofa and a table booth that makes a bed. Got a blind right there that needs to be restrung. If I get somebody freed up to do it, I'll have them do it. Um, eight cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer. Now I didn't have this on. I forgot to flip this on when I came out here and fired everything up. So I'm going to let that actually, I feel it starting to cool off. So I may come back to that later in the video or do a quick video clip on it after I shoot it. It's Saturday. So it's been a pretty hectic day, guys. Refrigerator looks great. Um, I'm 99% certain it works, but we're going to leave it on for a little bit. Uh, they have removed the glass door for the shower. A lot of people do this if they're bigger like me because it does have kind of a small shower because it's a smaller motorhome. So, um, you know, when you're a big guy like me, you know, and you're taking a shower, the shower curtain gives, the glass door doesn't. So it gives you a little bit extra space in this shower and it's plenty big enough i mean you can see the skylight looks good um it's fiberglass roof too i don't know if i mentioned that or not oh wow that air really feels good in the bedroom wow uh, we'll get to that here in a minute um <laughs> bathrooms had a couple of modifications uh they put up a shelf that's not factory and then they put i don't know why they put that in here this thing's got plenty of lights without that but wow um obviously if you like a lot of light to stand in front of the mirror and get ready you'll like that light that's a that's a pretty uh intense light in there um and they put that in there too you do have a solid sliding door for privacy um little desk get ready area right here which is always an important thing to have in an rv guy especially if you're going to be full timing you need a separate place to put your computer, pay your bills, all that good stuff. Got a Queen Island East-West bed and a slide out. And even when this room's in, you can still use the bed. You just you just can't open your closet doors right here in the front. Um, flat screen TV, got a little DVD player up here. Big beer. You know, nothing's broken. You know, it's a smooth riding chassis. The Freds are actually very smooth riding. This is a real ceramic tile floor and there's no cracks anywhere. No mirrors uh, are cracked. So, um, you know, you'd be surprised how well these Freds drive. And, and honestly, guys, uh, you know, you look at the price of this thing, it's not much more than a 2008 Allegro gas motorhome with 18,000 miles would be. And you've got a diesel. And that diesel, guys, and of course, you know, I hear it all the time. What's better, gas or diesel? What's better, gas or diesel? What's your opinion? Guys, diesel's always the best choice. Now, is it the best choice for what you're going to use an RV for? That's, that's for you to answer. The benefits of a diesel is better torque, three times the engine life. So if it's something you want to keep for 10, 15, 20 years or more, this is what you want over a gas. Not that you couldn't get that out of a gas if you took care of it, but it's going to cost you a lot more. And uh, I mean, this is no louder than driving a Dodge pickup truck with a diesel in the front. So um, for a 2008 model, one piece windshield. I just noticed that. That's nice great visibility great comfort 18,550.3 miles well as of right now um, got the defrost fans not bad I like that price too for what it is 18,000 mile double slide diesel for 59.9 and Tiffin quality well, you can't go wrong there guys you know Tiffin people look for these um, yeah, I like it. Tilt, tilt wheel, of course. 
Um, and I like this, even though, because, you know, a lot of gas front gas motors, you have a bigger hump right here. This one's still got the flat hump or flat area so you can get in and out of the driver's seat very, very easily, even if you're a big guy like me with minimum effort. You know, you know, a lot of Class A gas, you've got a lot bigger uh, doghouse cover than this one has. So it's a well-designed unit. Little artwork hanging up there on the wall. Not bad, guys. It's not bad at all. Uh, air conditioners work fantastically. That 6KW Onan diesel, which I'll go ahead, I'll crank it up. I don't care. Heck, it, I just didn't turn it on. I didn't know that. I didn't think there's a need for it, but uh, but uh, just to show you that it fires up and it works. Of course, you always prime them for a minute and hit the. Oh, and you can see the red light on. Our gauge is working. She's lit. You don't even hear it. I can hear it, but, but you probably won't hear it on the microphone. It's actually a very quiet generator, and it's a diesel, not a propane. So, uh, you know, it's a lot easier, a lot cheaper to run than a propane generator. And just like the diesel motor, it's actually got a Cummins diesel engine in that onan generator so just like the diesel motor you're never going to wear it out guys i mean these things can take hundreds of thousands of miles on them you take care of them and uh you know that, that you've got 660 pound feet of torque where the gas motor of that year let's just say you got a ford with the v10 it's got more horsepower but i'm gonna tell you you can you can line this thing up to any class a gas motor home at a hill on a hill at a red light and, and when that light turns green take off this thing will be two or three links ahead of the gas motor home before it hit uh, you know at the end of the hill you know torque is where your power comes from you've got 660 pound feet of torque which is over 200 pound feet of torque more than the bet than the most powerful gas motor they put in these in 2008 so you're really going to notice that pickup. The only time they're going to catch up to you is on the interstate. And this thing will run 75, 80 miles an hour all day long. So, I mean, it'll go faster than you ever want to take a vehicle this size. Dash looks good. Windshield looks good. TV up here, of course. Got a privacy curtain that goes all the way around the windshield. Yeah, I can, I, I, I'm impressed. I've only been, able, you know, I don't, we don't get many of these Freds in. Um, and I know everybody's scared of that front engine diesel, but guys, it's, it's because it's loud, but it's not loud. Literally, guys, I can jump in any, if I had a decibel meter, I could jump in any Class A gas motor home out here and get the same decibel reading as this diesel. But this thing will outlast and outperform that gas motor two to one. So, um, or three to one it does have a tow package now now allegro wasn't very um forthcoming with the tow capacity uh going off the vehicle weight the gvwr and all that stuff uh, it's five thousand pounds it, it might tow 5500 but just say five thousand pounds to be safe which is all you need if you're going to tow a vehicle behind you like a jeep or a little car suv something like that so 300 horse ISB Cummins, one of the best, most dependable diesel motors ever made. Um, and definitely one of the most plentiful motors ever made, which means if you ever need parts, a lot easier to get than some of the rare, uh, not used as often diesel motors. It's a Freightliner chassis, so you know you won't have any problem finding somebody to work on it if you ever have to have it worked on, which you will. Guys, every, every RV you gotta have worked on. I shouldn't just say that like that but uh you know that's just part of owning an rv is that you're going to have something on it just about all the time you got to repair so for those of you who want to buy an rv and you think i'm never going to have to do anything to it you're wrong guys you can buy new used you can spend a million dollars on an rv you can spend a hundred thousand you can spend ten thousand you're going to work on it at some point in time that's just that's one of the things about owning an rv it's like a houseboat or uh you know it's 
you gotta you always got something to fix you know hey guys i every time i take my motor home out i find something i want to fix so that's just you know guys that's just part of the rv lifestyle but this one right here guys i mean all the major stuff works great i mean generators running right now air conditioners running off the generator now instead of the shore power um nice and cold i mean i can't imagine um this thing needing any kind of major repairs so and it took really good care of with 18,000 miles that 300 cummins there ain't nothing to worry about Let's see here just so you know that boy that thing's got a good airflow 45 still dropping guys Let's see here the freezer a freezer haven't had on like i said i haven't had it on but, but obviously it works guys when it's 95 degrees in there if this thing wasn't working it'd be it'd be a lot warmer than 54 degrees you know it's not gonna be a perfect rv it is a 2008 it's very good condition for the year model you know none of them's gonna look like a brand new one but then again this thing's one quarter of the price of a brand new one so can kind of weigh it out pretty easy um but it's 59.9 haggle free firm and we do guarantee the um, refrigerator the slide outs which i know work we guarantee the generator to work we guarantee the refrigerator freezer to work which i'm like i said i'm i'm fairly certain works we'll try it again here in a minute so it's pretty much ready to go guys of course i want you to come by look at it test drive it do your own inspection but you bring the money with you guys you can take it home with you that same day i can't imagine why you wouldn't um smooth this is nice guys very affordable for a diesel right now it's a 32 ba great size especially if you're going to state parks older campgrounds stuff like that i mean this is under 33 foot this is 33 feet is kind of the magic 33 34 feet that's the magic number for older parks and state parks but a lot of them can't accommodate bigger coaches or have very limited sites for bigger coaches than that so um it'll tow take you down the road do everything you want it to do guys 59.9 financing is available with approved credit down payment if you want up to the date information on that like interest rates and credit eligibility of course all with approved credit and down payment um give one of our sales people a call at 706-965-7929 and they will be happy to give you up the date information that stuff's changing so quick guys it seems like every day the banks are doing this or doing that or changing this or changing that so Instead of me trying to keep up with it, getting a headache, I said, you know what, just call, get one of my salespeople. They'll they'll give you all the information on terms, rates, and qualifications, and, and all that good stuff. So, um, you can go to my website, check out my inventory, parkwayrvcenter.com. Got I've got a few diesels. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. We are very low on diesel inventory, but I do have a few diesels. Um... I've actually got some for a lower price than this. It may not be as new and it may not be a Tiffin, but it's still, I've got some good diesels. Um, I think I got one for 42.9. So definitely got a, a good price range of diesels for you to look at. Anything from, I guess, 42.9 to. Uh, 139.9 and everything in between so you know right now the dealer's stock is critically low and and mine may be low but i've still got probably more than anybody else out there and used class a diesels and gas motor homes too i just got in three class a gas motor homes i'm going to try to post next week so definitely got some good good inventory for you to look at got some great prices guys we, we sell all over the united states um because of our prices and our inventory you know you go to a lot of rv dealerships they got one or two three or four used rvs and and 
and just a handful of new ones and guys we've got all used rvs we've got about 80 85 out here if i had to guess a variety of stuff from motorhomes class a b's and c's gas diesels toy haulers i've got uh travel trailers fifth wheels and more you know i take just about anything of value in on trade guys that i can legally sell and not have to feed every day i've got great financing i have delivery options contact us for information on any of that all you got to do guys pick up your phone call 706-965-7929 one of my sales people be glad to help you out guys if you want to come visit us in person you're always welcome we're open monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time saturday 9 to 5 eastern of course we are closed sunday for the lord's day and family day for our employees and we are closed most holidays so um you know come out and look you know here's the thing guys you go to rip off world these big corporate dealers you know you can't just park your car and go look all right they've got all their inventory behind a looks like a prison yard that's what i call it big chain link fence with barbed wire on top they got locked gates everywhere and you you've got a separate parking lot to park but you can't get in there and look at the inventory everything's behind the fence so you have to go into the showroom ask the receptionist hey can i or the greeter hey can i go look at rvs well let me get you a salesperson i don't have a key to the gate salesperson comes up i want to look at rvs well let me come over here to my desk mr and mrs customer Let, let's sit down for a minute uh let me get some information from you i've got to have you sign an insurance waiver which is not an insurance waiver it's just a way for them to get your personal information so they for marketing purposes sit down here and they sit there and interrogate you for about 10 minutes take a copy of your driver's license um they uh um not only do they do that but they sit there and learn all the information they need to learn about what you're looking for to sell you something that day and you can you know here's the thing guys rv shoppers are casual shoppers you know we don't go in expecting to buy the same day that we the first time we see one um you know most of our customers come here i mean yeah sometimes they do buy the same day but most of the time they're here two or three times before they buy you know and that's the thing guys i want you to feel comfortable here i want you to come here and visit as often as you want as much as you want and uh you can't do that these big dealers they either make you mad or make you buy high pressure here guys you can come you know as often as you want you don't have to have a salesperson escort you around it's kind of self-service everything's got a price on it everything's open um if you've got a question, all you got to do is stick your head in the showroom or call the office or send somebody out to help you. At no time is anybody going to pressure you guys. And, and, you know, we've always said this. We want you to come to us instead of we come to you. And especially right now in the current market where there's way more buyers in inventory right now. Um, uh, so it's supply and demand. There's no reason for us to do anything to make you buy at all. You know, I, I, the way I look at it, you're an adult. I figure everybody comes on this lot that's over 18 years old that can buy as an adult. They know if they're ready to buy or not ready to buy, and they know what they want to buy once, well, at least once they look around and get some and get some information, they'll know what they want to buy if they want to buy then. So, you know, everybody here is welcome. You know, I don't care if you're so wanting to buy here in the next few days or today, if you're wanting to buy next year, next five years or you're just curious about rvs everybody's always welcome here guys you don't have to talk to a salesperson you don't have to go into a showroom you don't have to sit at a desk you can park your car you know i don't have a separate parking lot for my inventory you park your car get out and look around guys you can park next to the unit you want to look at you can just make yourself at home you know we we, we pride ourselves on that guys we're kind of the anti-corporate rv dealership rv dealer if that makes sense you know uh, other dealers they might hit you up with thousands of dollars and dock fees and prep fees and all this other stuff on top of the advertised price that can really raise it up by several thousand dollars and all those fees are 100 percent dealer profit guys you see that price on the window well you probably can't see it but it's 59.9 that's the price guys it's haggle free firm it's plus applicable sales tax no surprises no games no gimmicks now if you for saying that if you are a georgia resident there is a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee you have to pay 
that doesn't apply to out of state. So, but I don't sit there and, and sit there and add thousands of dollars in fees to my advertised price. That's just a way for uh, the big corporate dealers to advertise a certain price, but actually sell it for a lot more by disguising that profit in the form of extra fees. And it's a scam that's been going around for many, many years. So I'm sure most of you are already aware of it. All those fees, 100% dealer profit. Um, I don't have any forced up sales. I don't, I, you know, I don't sit there and try to sell you gap insurance, extended warranties, none of that stuff, guys. Um, that's something you can do yourself after you buy the RV and you can, here's the thing guys, you go to a dealer and you buy any kind of upsell like that, gap insurance, extended warranty, uh, protection packages like for exterior and interior, guys, that stuff you can buy yourself after you buy the unit for a fraction of the cost. A dealer is paying the same cost you would if you paid for it yourself, but they're marking it up several times dealer cost. Not only that, guys, they're adding it to your RV loan, which, and if you go through a finance department, especially a big corporate RV dealership, they're marking that interest rate up, making you overpay by thousands of dollars for the over the life of an RV loan for a RV. And that can add up quick. And then they're adding all those upsells to that loan amount too. So in other words, guys, you, you, let's just say you go to Rip Off World, something price 59.9, and you pay all the fees, you go through their finance department, you buy the RV, you call the bank the next day, see what your payoff is. Your payoff is uh, closer to seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars on something that was advertised for fifty-nine nine, and you think, "Oh, it won't happen to me." Yeah, that's what you think, guys. These guys are good. They're slick. I've seen some of the slickest people we've ever seen uh, fall for their tactics. I see it. About every week here, guys. On average, about once a week, somebody comes in here with a trade-in. They bought from the, because we're about 10 miles from the local rip-off world. And they, um, you know, they've been, they bought it brand new, been paying on it two or three years, want to trade it. So I get their information. They got a payoff. They financed through the rip-off world. So I call their bank, or, or the salesperson calls the bank gives the banker all the information on the line to get their current payoff and then he puts it on speakerphone and, and a lot of times they're shocked because the payoff even after paying on it for two or three years is thousands more than the advertised price when it was brand new and now here it is a used RV two or three years later worth less than it was when it was new so get the idea guys and of course you know most people don't blame us because we're not the ones that sold it to them but some people do they think all rv dealers are the same and it's, it's just sad that dealers like rip off world and these other corporate dealers give independents like us who want your repeat business we want you to send your friends and family to us we've been in business 53 years but they give us a bad name because people think they're all the same like one bad apple spoils a bunch that old saying and um you know guys you know we've been here 53 years family owned and operated three generations multiple families buy from us guys from all over the country for decades um i've had customers who have been customers of ours for 25 30 years plus have bought multiple rvs from us and, and we're the only place they even look at anymore so um you know that kind of customer service is earned with experience and keeping your prices fair and treating people right and so here's the thing, the rip off world, all these other places, they don't care if you ever come back. They, as long as they get you one good time, they know there's so many other people out there wanting to buy RVs and they're under the assumption because they're the biggest, you know, people think because an RV dealer is the biggest, they're the best. And it's actually the exact opposite, guys. RV dealers don't, big RV dealers don't get big by giving people fair deals. They get big by maximizing profit on every single thing they sell. If they offer you an RV, if they offer you upsell services, financing, it all comes with a lot of dealer profit padded into it that you're overpaying for. And, uh, you know, we finance here through different banks and lenders, a lot of the same lenders they go through, except we don't mark interest rates up. Financing is a courtesy to us, not a way to make money. It's a way for our customers to say, hey, you know, I like this RV and, you know, my bank will only go 60 months or 72 months. And we can say, all right, with your good credit, we can probably get you about twice that on terms. And the rate be close to the same, 
if not the same. So, um, just gives you a lot more affordable payment. And plus, it keeps your debt to income ratio down when you have a, cause, you know, here's the thing, guys, you go through all of our RV loans are simple loans. Now, Rip Off World can't say that, where they charge the interest up front before you pay on the balance. But, we charge simple loans. All of our loans are simple loans. We're very careful about that. Because here's the thing, guys. You know, that way you have the option to pay extra every month to pay it down. You may finance an RV for 12 to 15 years. But say you pay it off in six years, you only pay six years worth of interest. Now, you do that with a lot of the loans at the other dealerships. You pay the same interest no matter if you pay it off early or not. So many of them charge the interest rate up front. And... Um, that's how they get you or you know something's been in the news last few months about rv dealers sneaking in balloon payments giving you a low payment for 10 years and after the end of the 10 years you've got a, a 40 or fifty thousand dollar balloon payment you either have to refinance or pay or they come get your rv and i'm sure y'all have seen that where they've snuck that in on a few so especially a big dealer down in florida so um you don't have to worry about that here guys Come visit with us, guys. You'll see the difference really quick, especially if you've been to these big corporate dealers and felt the pressure and, and seen all the fees. And always get your out-the-door price because that's truly what you're paying for one, not the advertised price. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up. I don't get to do motorhome videos on Saturday very often, so um, thought this was a good one to do. Um, but thank y'all again so much. My subscribers, 30,000, almost 30,000 subscribers. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit it. Uh, hit the bell notification if you don't care. Comment, share on social media. More support you give my channel. It's free for you to watch. The more it helps support it. So I can make it grow. And I do have plans to make it grow, as many of you know. I'm talking about changing the name. I'm talking about doing more than just standard RV reviews. And still doing primarily that, but... You know, I just want to have some fun with it. Heck, it's been, what, 12 years doing the same thing? So I, I may uh, mix it up a little bit and still still do this, but still do other things with it. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you all again for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. All right, guys, before I cut this fridge off, thought I'd go ahead and check the temperature. Uh, of course, the fridge takes several hours freezer just in the 20 30 minutes drop down to that <laughs> so it works now the refrigerator won't uh for another few hours but um it's already down in the 60s so yeah it's good it'll get colder in the fridge of course but if it stays on for another few hours but guys this thing's ready to go so thank you again for watching look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringo georgia